so this is probably just going to be like a small miscellaneous video. Um, I have managed to essentially beat Sugar while being sorely underleveled. Um, I started a new file and was going through it, and I had the bright idea to um, do things slightly different just for the sake of curiosity. This this is going to be a third save file, oh, quote unquote. I use that a lot, quote unquote. Um, stemming off of my second save file. Uh, I'm not going to finish this one. I'm just, just going to be how it is. Anyhow, you'll notice that I am near death and Sugar is not attacking. Well, there's a reason for that. I have managed to run her out of competence points. So for like the f past five minutes, she has not attacked at all. And she can't. Everyone has nothing to use in their competence menu. Um, I am all out of items. I came in with like 10 fortune tickets, 3 gold flesh, 10 ab uh, ten jokers, and 10 uh, of the full heal me, which I can't remember. Belial's me. So it's basically just down to everyone attacking and finishing sugar off. Which just means that, you know, this is going to be slow as hell. Um, so I'll wind up editing it down to the end of the fight. Because, um, I guess uh, I went back through TV Tropes before um, my, my final video, which I haven't done yet, which is probably going to be just a short. Or maybe I'll put this on the final video um, to add a little more oomph to it because uh, it's probably going to be very short. But, um, yeah, everyone here is at level 10. Um, I went through zone, the... Um, in order to unlock the sugar fight, I found out that you have to have the grand diagonal. Or, no, 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 the grand finale. The grand diagonal is from zone 2, purified. The grand finale is from zone 1, purified. Um, and that unlocks the stairway in the base... in the... Uh, the cellar of Zone Zero to access and fight Sugar. Um, this also technically, unlock, if you do it early enough, this also technically counts as a early introduction to Sugar, because uh, the first time you encounter it is at the end of uh, Area Two, when you fight those three uh, burnt uh, at the end of the treatment rooms. So, um, let's see. Yeah, this is this save file is just before going in there and oh wow. Um, I'm gonna wind up save, saving on uh, file three. And continuing for file two. Because the uh, the special ending changes slightly, I guess I think. Uh, if you spare sugar. Um, so I'm gonna go through that, and there's also something else I wanted to, uh, show off. Yeah, every, uh, I think everyone's gonna... Yeah, batter leveled up four times. <laughs> She's dead. I can't really inspect the sugar, but whatever. Um, everyone leveled up four times. I got special home run here. That would have helped during the fight, actually. I don't know what level I was gonna learn that at, though, because I just learned something else. I don't know. If, uh... Okay, yeah. See, I have, I have n n nothing. Not that I need anything. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I guess beating Sugar unlocks all this stuff because he didn't have this much stuff before. I guess beating Sugar kind of flips a flag. Um, but I'll mess with that after. I have something else to show off, actually. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'll cut here. Wait, no, it's not going to work. Um, 
basically, now I did things a little differently this time, and um, there's like one video on YouTube that references it and shows it off. Actually, if you, um, I guess uh, it, it's got to be some mixed up flag uh, uh, flag triggers. If you go to zone one and finish that uh, purified zone one before doing anything on the pedalo in zone two. When you get on the Padalo after summoning it through the mall and trying to go to the park, the track Not Safe will play, which is what plays in the Purified Zones. Um, needless to say, that scared the shit out of me. And I was like, whoa, fuck no, and got off the Padalo, like, immediately. Um, I didn't like that. After I went through the park and did the uh, Padalo, the, uh, the water ride minigame, though, with all the items, it went back to normal. So I don't know what caused that. But, um, but yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it for now. Let me just go see if, if anything changes in Zone 3. Based on beating Sugar and having had a somewhat... Oh, you're crashing on me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, it seems very, very apparent that uh, nothing in-game actually changes if you beat Sugar before you're introduced to the element of Sugar. I guess I'll leave it here, then. Um, that'll just be it. Um, there's one other thing that I need to record once I get up there. To that point, um, because I wound up overwriting my file and wound up missing it uh, to show it off. But um, I think I'll leave it there, and then I will put this as the beginning of the uh, final video. So um, that's it for now. The next thing you'll probably see is what I missed. So there's that. Oh, hey there. This is uh, something that I missed uh, in my original run through, which on my second uh, file I'm going through again. We are currently in chapter 3 of the room, the world in a window. Um, and this is what I missed. In the first save file, uh, or so it goes, uh, you can pick from, you can come up here into this area and take a look at this. You stand in well, I don't know if you have to stand in front of it, but if you play the music box inside this room, this chest appears with the perfect symbol. Um, you can equip that to uh, one of your uh, add-ons here. And that's 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 the whole purpose of the music box. It's something small, but it's still useful, especially when you you know you grab the uh, the equipment up here for them from uh, these Elsin guys. Um, and that's it. That that's um, that's all I've got until the uh, special ending. So um, stick around for that. That's coming up. So um, well, this is a little glitch now, isn't it? Um, just finding all sorts of things. Seems like some little trip around the sky and on buildings and stuff. Yeah, I just discovered this. Just on, on an off chance. That <laughs> off chance. Uh, um, but yeah, I guess that's all there is here. <laughs> Today, we're going to beat, again, we're going to finish off with the special ending. I do believe I might have run out of things to say. Uh, now, you will notice here, oh, by the way, a um, few things, probably just like one or two. Um, during the boxer segment, you can actually unequip all of the stuff off of him. 
So you see here I have his offensive equipment and his defensive equipment. You can't really do anything with it. You can't uh, sell it, as I'll show you in a second. It's just kind of there. You can't do anything with it. However, you can equip the lucky coin that he has, which, as far as I know, does absolutely nothing. It's just kind of there, and I just equipped it to be cool or something. Um, what else do we have here? There's there's a few other things. Okay. Um, I have these four items, the bizarre objects associated with different elements. And, as we'll see right here, Zachary has an addition of the Grand Brachial, which is the meat bizarre object. You can buy and sell this one at will. You can buy and sell multiple ones of them, actually. And there we have that. Now, with this in mind, and all five bizarre object elements, to get the special ending, we come back to Zone Zero, and we go talk to Zachary here. And he... <laughs> will give us something for it. <laughs> and we have two choices. The Ashley Bat, which despite having lower attack than the Katsuhiro Bat, which I currently have equipped, attacks twice and has a high critical chance. And the Ares card, which um, unlocks bonus bits during the special ending. Actually, no. Um, from what I understand, it unlocks bonus bits during either ending. I think it takes place after it. <laughs> and of course, I will take the Ares card. After that, his default <laughs> message becomes it's a pleasure to bargain with you. Um, one last thing. I don't know if this is a bug or not, but um, when you equip the 8th color on someone, you can't change it out for anything. So, there's that. Which isn't a big, you know, hindrance. It's just kind of there. Um... And I think that's everything. And I'm keeping the, the photo of Zachary just because I like it. So you look. It's fun. Uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the other file, I grabbed the photo of you, which is, you know, of course, the batter, and he has his arms up. I don't know why he still seems to be scared here. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Anyhow. save here and let's continue on As I know, this stuff all stays the same. Also, I think what I've heard is that this one of this line is mistranslated um, and is inconsistent with something else. I think, and that their son, uh, Hugo, who we saw in the last video, um, created them. Which adds to the, you know, schizophrenic sort of curiosities about this game. more, uh, I 
actually no, I don't think I have slightly more anything. Also, I've, I'm attacking the complete wrong thing. There we go. The, um, for the most part, at the level that I'm at, the, uh, the Queen's add-ons become kind of negligible. And her attack animations are too long. No, I don't default back to one of the add-ons. Massacre this woman, because that's... I don't really want to, given the uh, implied nature of everything, but that's what we have to do to go through to the final, uh, you know, to beat the game. And so that's what we're going to do. In spite of all the sadness, all the depression, all the crazy theories that could be about this, and the horrible things that it implies. And I don't actually know if you can kill the queen before the add-ons go, but that's the closest I've gotten to doing that. And, uh, I, um, I can't come out, oh, I still can't come out, um, not that that matters, it's not really a thing that matters. Can I play the, mu the music box? I no longer have the music box. Oh. How, did, how did that shit happen? Maybe I can't. I, I don't know. I don't remember. In any case... Um... Yeah, we have to do this again. So I don't know if you can tell. Um, I might as well explain this now before I finish this off. Um, that's not like a blanket or something he's wearing there. That red thing that he seems to be hugging is a piece of meat. It seems to be like a drumstick of some sort. And I guess it's implied that Hugo here is the... Um, thank you, Zach, for pointing this out to me. Uh, that Hugo is the guardian of meat. Um, and so it would make sense that being that the other elements can't produce life, that meat sort of counts as life. You know, you know, human flesh and all that. So it would make sense that Hugo, being the guardian of meat, could create life. Hence the batter, the queen... The Guardians, everything. I didn't see it at first either. The the the, the meat thing right here. But that's what it seems to be. Things, the end game does not change until you come upon this again. Ah. 
Remember how Sugar said something about a frightening ducky? Take a look at Batter's mouth there. Let's see what we got here. Low, mediocre, important, incredible, and stat effects. And these, um, adding to the, um, you know, the theme of the game and the world therein, these all are different um, things having to do with the brain or, or one's mental state. Conniving aneurysm, sclerosis, rupture. Um, somehow we still have our uh, all our items, so I don't think we'll really be needing them. Um, and apparently Batter can use his attacks on, the, on his own. Holy shit! Wow. That's, uh... Incredible, that- wow. Um, I wonder if Judge is, uh... If only he used that attack in the official ending. Jesus. I suppose without Jason's help, or without the player's help, rather, uh, he couldn't bring himself to have any sort of power, because um, given all that he had been through, he couldn't bear to live with all the damage that he caused by simply not realizing what the batter was up to, and allowing the player to guide batter's steps and letting him do anything. so that I can talk over it. Um, so, with this quote-unquote special ending, and I say quote-unquote way too much, um, the only ones remaining, the judge, obviously, Zachary still lives, um, I guess if you don't kill Sugar and go through the special ending, then um, she would still be alive. It's just those three. And remember in Zone 2, that one bunker with that one Elson? He's still alive. He's the only one that remains. I don't think the giant Elson in the room survive, so uh, I guess Hugo would be the guardian of the room, so, well, either the guardian of the room or the queen would be the guardian of the room. And of course, though barren, and, you know, things are kind of excruciatingly lifeless um, in this ending not everything is lost the switch is not set to off and the world continues to exist on even if there's not terribly much for it to exist on To be frank, after destroying, after purifying Zone 1 from killing Dadan, everywhere else is kind of screwed, because every other element 
is made from zone one. Without it, there's no more meat to feed on. There's no more plastic for water, I guess. There's no more metal for land. And yeah. So after Zone 1, it's kind of a moot point anyway. It's just a matter of speeding up the process, which the batter went through. Um And there's also that Oof. Right So um Wow, oh, okay. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Off by Mortis Ghost. With a wonderful soundtrack by Angry alias Conrad Coldwood. A game about a sick little boy who gets brutally murdered by his neglectful father, whose mother is also murdered by said father, and who eviscerates the world, leaving nothing left behind. Apparently. That was fun. A little crazy. Especially that sp true ending. I'm air quoting right now. Um, but even without that, it's all kind of crazy. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed. Next time I upload something, it'll probably be less less of a surreal psychological ordeal but I don't know if it will you know compare to off we will see you next time <laughs>